Okay, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. It is Monday today, so we're gonna have a quick look at the economic calendar, especially this week. We've got plenty of news coming out, so I'm pretty sure we will see a lot of movement around the uh, major instruments, especially at the end of the week. Um, okay, so first of all, on Wednesday, we've got interest rate decisions for the US dollar, um, and before that, interest rate decision coming out from the Bank of Japan. Okay, so major, major news. Um, then we've got the FOMC press conference, um, just about half an hour after the, the interest rate decision. Um, and then on Thursday, we've got the um, interest rates for the British pound as well. Okay, And then on Friday, obviously, as it is the first Friday, um, it will be the first Friday of the month, uh, we will have non-farm payrolls to close the week as well. Okay, So I'm pretty sure we will see a lot of volatility around the um, Fed interest rate decision on Wednesday and you know depending on how price action reacts um, if it doesn't start a move let's say on the uh, US dollar pairs then we will see that probably on Friday uh, around the NFP okay so we're gonna have a look at the chart right now um, and see where we are currently on euro dollar now this is the one hour time frame and as you can see we are inside of this range right here um, and so I'm personally not looking to trade right now especially since we're pretty much trading sideways okay overall I think we're gonna continue um, you know um, higher here on euro dollar and the other majors as well which means a weak US dollar overall but before that we may see you know many setups forming up so Ideally, we want to wait for the news to to pass and then look for trading opportunities because the market direction will then be a lot more obvious uh, than it is now. What could happen now is you know we we have many case scenarios where we can see price pushing up, testing, let's say for example this um, structure right here, then coming lower, you know breaking below the lows right here just to trick a lot of market participants and then go back to the upside. We can easily see price continuing higher and just break it above Stru uh, previous market structure right here and reaching for new um, levels, testing previous resistance and probably breaking above that as well. And we can also see the market coming down here, testing let's say the 1.0780 level and then pushing up. Okay, so anything could happen um, until the end of this week, until Wednesday and Friday. So whatever kind of entries you're making right now um, I would say reduce the risk and as soon as you can move your stop loss to break even okay and like I said probably the best case scenario would be to wait for the news see what the market does until then and then look for entries now what am I personally waiting for ideally I want to see a price coming in at least retesting the lows right here or maybe coming slightly below them and then giving me that reversal this is where Ideally, I want to to find a trading opportunity. Okay, so anywhere between the 38.2, uh, which is 1.0840 level, and down to about 61.8 fib retracement, which is again 1.0780. So anywhere in between that level is where I'm going to be looking to uh, potentially um, take a buy trade here on Euro Dollar. Um, when it comes to targets, I mean. Let me check out the higher time frames because if you look at the daily time frame, so obviously we, uh, I'm expecting to retest the, the highs right here. Okay, so we're talking about the level around uh, 1.0940, 0950, but we can even reach the highs at 1.1130. Okay, up here, and obviously this is gonna take a lot more time. I'm not talking about the next week or anything like this, uh, but uh, once we break above the current range that we formed here on the one hour time frame and we get some sort of confirmation for an upside continuation which like I say could be let's say a break retest and a continuation um, it could be retest right here pull back and again continuation to the upside as soon as we get some sort of confirmation for um, you know an, an uptrend continuation here on uh, euro dollar then I'm gonna be expecting for price to at least reach those highs and depending on how it will react around that structure, we will then see whether it has the momentum um, and strength to continue even higher um, to around 1.1130, 1.1260, okay? But I just wanted to make sure that you are aware of those high impact news and what to expect from the market because when we've got these type of news, that's when we have 
uh, a clear market direction okay before that the market will probably do something to trick us whether it will come down lower um, and, and then reverse or continue higher and then during the news we may see that pullback forming but we want to see some sort of price action signal so let's say for example if we come down here for the retest of this we want to see some nice rejection with to the downside or any type of candlestick that will give us a signal that the market doesn't have enough strength to continue lower and it will in fact gather momentum back to the upside okay and that could you can look for this type of signal anywhere if we don't come down here if we continue higher and then come for a retest of this structure this is pretty much exactly the same thing that you will be looking for okay so it really depends on your entry strategy I'm just giving you the market direction what am I expecting to see here on the majors um, so you can then make your own decision as to what you want to do when do you want to enter um, but definitely I would say wait for the news um, like I said Wednesday Thursday and Friday very important news um, for the US dollar and for the British pound as well okay so if you check out the um, situation here on GBP it is pretty much the same uh, I just want to see price coming slightly lower giving me some sort of a reversal signal and then I'll be looking for um, you know uh, those higher levels here on GBP as well so ideally I want to take um, an entry on maybe on both or on one of those instruments at a lower price levels lower than current price levels okay now I think there's more potential in, in the British pound um, I think if we manage to, to get that entry and expect for price to continue higher um, it will start ripping through much quicker than euro dollar um, and so you know considering that this is what kind of setups we have here on euro dollar and pound dollar you can definitely pay more attention to euro pound as well um, and look for a continuation to the downside especially if we notice that there's more strength in the move on gbp rather than euro uh, rather than the euro when we talk about an upside continuation if we see more momentum in um, in the gbp usd pair then that means we should see euro pound continuing lower and as you can see we've got a massive downtrend here as well we are definitely in a zone of, which is a point of interest to us um, and this is what we talk about on a daily in our premium telegram channel we're not only talking about the majors obviously we go through uh, the yen pairs as well some of the other crosses down here as you can see we talk about gold on a daily basis so if you're interested um, check out the links in the description below this video um, you know uh, send me a message in telegram and we can talk about that if you are interested to receive those type of analysis on a daily basis um, okay and there's also more information about those setups here um, and how price action will be affected by the news this week in our email newsletter so there is a link uh, I think it's the first link in the description below this video make sure to subscribe it's completely free and you'll get information like this um, on a weekly basis okay so that's pretty much what I'm expecting to see here on um, some of the majors euro dollar I definitely want to see price um, you know breaking above or even below this range right here but as long as it is trading inside of this box I'm not looking to take any um, entries okay so as soon as we break above this high 1.09 um, then I will be expecting higher levels here on euro dollar okay so that's pretty much all for today uh, there's more videos coming out on Wednesday that's when we um, you know talk about gold and what kind of setups we're expecting to see there um, and also we've got obviously the news on Wednesday as well so make sure to subscribe um, to this channel and we've also got other videos coming out on Fridays where we talk about the crypto market uh, going through Bitcoin sometimes Ethereum as well right now Ethereum looks even better than Bitcoin so um, Make sure to subscribe to this channel, uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below um, and if you want to see more from me then make sure to join our free telegram channel, again links all in the description down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.